And so he knew he was his time was short and he was going to, you know, uh, end up in trouble and all that he ended up doing, shipwrecked and everything. He, he knew he was on his way to Rome, whatever that took. And so he wanted to make sure everybody was tucked in, you might say. <laughs> and, and so that's what he did. He went around to all the churches and, and um, edified them and encouraged them, exhorted them, made sure they were all on the same page with the Lord. And so um, in chapter 20, verse 4, he said, there accompanied him into Asia, Sopater of Berea and of the Thessalonians, Aristarchus and Secundus, and Gaius of Derby and Timotheus, and of Asia, Tuchicus and Trophimus. These going before tarried for us at Troas or Troy. And I like the I like looking up what names mean, you know. Because uh, a lot of times they have a lot of bearing on, on what's being written. So this guy, Sapater, Pater, we know, is being father. And any time the Greeks like to take two words and kind of swish them together and make one word out of it. So so is actually from sozo, which is the word for salvation. It's actually the... Sus part of Jesus is sozo. So uh, it basically means a father of salvation or a safe father. Okay? And why is that important? Well, in uh, 1 Corinthians 4.15, Paul said, You have 10,000 instructors, but you only have, uh, you know, not many fathers. And that's true. you got a lot of people who want to teach you but they don't want to hang around to help you develop. And so people like Sapata were these kind of people that would take their time and effort and invest in you to try to get you on the road. They didn't just give you facts and things, and but they hung around and made sure you understood it and you could, and you learned life lessons from it and things that a father would do. And so Paul was that kind of a person. He didn't just lay the backs out and give you a sermon and, and, and say, see you next Sunday. He hung around. <laughs>